there is a lot of curiosity on how an energy is calculated by a manufacturer on the label. We all have been consuming food products and when we see there is a nutritional profile on the label. So many people wonder that how did this nutritional profile achieve this nutritional profile? So today we will see or learn how this is achieved. So before we go on the topic, we have to understand few things. Nutrition mein, there are two main things. One is micronutrients and other is macronutrients. Micronutrients generally vitamins, minerals, enzymes, aise ingredients hote hai, jo body ko day to day activity mein required hai, but energy nahi produce karte. And macronutrients like protein, carbohydrate, fats, ye actual ingredients hai, jisse energy produce hote. So today we'll understand how this energy is calculated. Let's understand it better. To get energy value from the macronutrients, there is a multiplication factor. So her macronutrient ka ek factor hota hai, jo bhi ingredients hum dalenge uh, product mein, usko us factor se multiply karna hai. So let's say protein molecule. So protein ka one gram will give you four calories means multiplication factor is 4 similarly carbohydrate will give you 4 kilocalories per gram because multiplication factor is 4 and fat will give you 9 kilocalories as its multiplication factor is 9 let's say we take a label and it is written on the label protein 25 grams carbohydrate 50 grams and fats 10 grams so how will ideal calculation be done? we have learned that protein is Protein ka factor is 4. So 25 into 4 will give you 100 kilocalories. So carbohydrate, the factor is 4. So 50 into 4 will give you 200 kilocalories. And the factor of fat is 9. So 10 into 9 will give you 90 kilocalories. So the total calorie here is 390 kilocalories. Simple, this is an ideal condition. But sometimes there are other a lot of factors which has to be taken into account. This is not so simple as it looks. Especially in calculating carbohydrate, we have to be very much careful. In calculating energy from carbohydrate, we have to check the quantity of polyols and fibers. So what are polyols? Polyols are actually sugar alcohols. Like mannitol, sorbitol, erythritol. So these are sugar alcohols which are not actually completely digested by your body. So, here the factor of 4 will not be lagu. So, generally carbohydrate gives you 4 kilocalories, but polyols will give you only 2 kilocalories. Except for erythritol, which does not completely get absorbed in the body. So, its factor is 0. Hoga. So, 1 gram of erythritol will give you 0 kilocalories. Similarly, fiber hote hai. fibers body ke enzymes digest nahi karte hai. So, that means technically, None of the fibers is absorbed in the body, so it should not produce any energy. So as per Fasai India, polyols and fibers, except for erythritol, will produce 2 kilocalories and erythritol will give you 0 kilocalories. So when we see label mein ge, polyols or fibers, we energy calculation humko into 2. Karna hai. Except erythritol, which is considered as 0 kilocalories. So generally erythritol sugar-free supplements mein jyada use hota. So whenever we are calculating energy, we have to that polyols and fibers are contributing to carbohydrate. Mein. So let's take an example. Let's say uh, one serving 125 gram has protein 20 grams, fat 5 grams and carbohydrate 100 grams. But in 100 grams, mein 10 gram fibers or 10 grams polyols. Hai. So how the calculation will be? We all know protein, the factor is 4. So 20 to 4 will give you 80 kilocalories, fat will give you 5 to 9, 45 kilocalories, and carbohydrate should give you 100 into 4, 400 kilocalories. But here, polyols 10 grams hai and fibers 10 grams. Hai. So, calculation will thoda changes. Hoga. So, the calculation of the carbohydrate will be as follows the net carbohydrate is equal to total carbohydrate, that is 100 gram, minus the half of polyol which is 5 grams and half of fiber which is 5 grams 
So now the net carbohydrate will be 100 minus 5 minus 5 which comes to 90 grams. So the energy produced from carbohydrate is actually now 360 kilocalories and not 400 kilocalories. So the example of the label which we had taken should read in this manner. Hope this clears the concept how a manufacturer calculates the energy and puts on the label.